Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy Pluto here. Come out with another nigga tutorial on uh, trap code, particular smoke, motion track smoke. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is what I'm gonna be showing you today. See how this smoke appears? You know what I'm saying? Looking hella sexy and all. But yeah, let's get started. All right. So you have your After Effects open and the clip you want to have the effect on. You want to go to the clip, click on it, right click. Track camera and then check render points and wait for this to render out and analyze and I'll be right back. Alright, so once it's finished, uh, it should come up with some of these multicolored points. So now you want to find a flat surface where your circle is flat right here. You want to right click, go to create node and camera. Uh, click on the node, press P. Alright, you want to make a new solid. This is going to be the smoke. So it goes to effects, trap code, particular. And yeah, this should appear with a bunch of particles. Let me shut off this track points layers. All right. So now you go to palm track code, particular. You want to go to emitter, change the particles to 150, change the velocity to around 10, velocity random zero. Velocity distribution zero and the velocity from motion zero and change the emitter type to box. Okay, so now you see how the particles are motion tracked. So now we're knowing that. So you go to particle, change the size to around, I say, like 70. Change size random to 100, cut down to opacity, change it to 2, somewhere from 1 to 3. Change the opacity random to 100, change the particle type to cloudlet. Actually, I might change the opacity to 1 and lower the size to 45. Okay, and now we want to uh, go back up to emitter and change the uh, change the size based on your likings from the emitter size x. Um, sp uh, spread it out. I just do like around a thousand or so, a thousand each. Okay, fuck, one thousand. All right. Now go back down to particles and now you can change the size back up to around 145. And now you see it's just the smoke is jaw motion tracks. But yet it's still looking kind of choppy, so we, we want it to fade in and also fade out. So in order to have this happen, come down to a passive over life, click on that drop box arrow, and then you should see a bunch of options uh like different um uh different uh pictures on the side so you click either one <clears throat> i usually do the one with the big loop in the middle so like the opacity it like it starts off low and then it gets higher and then it comes back down to get lower but yeah you guys i mean that's pretty much basically it um, just, uh, oh, also change the cloudlet feather to your likings, too. I just put mine up to 100. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much all, that's all you gotta do. It's really simple. It's really easy to do. It's a nice effect for cinematics and your motion tracks and everything. But yeah, you guys, if this helps you out, please leave a like and comment below and leave suggestions on what tutorial I should do next. Alright, guys, peace.